Okay, as I stated in my Luke Skywalker one per attack video, uh, my Star Wars reviews will be ending in this room. So I stated I'd do one last uh, pan down of the room, of the collection. So this is what this video will be, as an end to reviews that will take place in here. So see, you can see there I've got my background as a Star Wars 7 preparation. Uh, Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma and the First Order. Along with the Donald Gleason guy, I forget the name. And just get into the next point of the review. Okay, so starting here on the top shelf of the cabinet, it's mainly the same with Lego sets. We've got the Millennium Falcon, except this time I've got Luke Han, Leia, and Leia fighting off stormtroopers as they attempt to escape the Death Star, with Chewie sitting there ready to take off. I've got the six inch Darth Vader from the Black series reaching out to Luke to say, Join me on the dark side. Behind that, we've got the SAS 18 Starfighter. The custom Lego Y Wing, nothing's different with that. Six inch Boba Fett, I've given a review of. And the Lego X Wing from 2012, which there's a review of on the channel further back. We have the Give Yourself to the Dark Side, larger Darth Vader poster. I don't think that's exact, I can't exactly remember what size that is. Mind that you have the Django Fett one I got from Newcastle Comic Con back in March. Then down here we've got. The episode figures from uh, all the episodes apart from Phantom Menace and Empire Strikes Back. And some Attack of the Clones ones, we start with them here. They're mainly the same as they were last time, as the reviewer did last uh, fall. Or autumn, as it is here in the UK. It's mainly, mainly just Phantom, Attack of the Clones stuff. Then we get to the Revenge of the Sith side of things. Where the shelves are mainly, kind of mainly takes up the shelves. Space. Uh, you got Yoda and the Emperor there dueling, just like you have with Dooku there. And you got Vader and Obi Wan on the back. And then you come to the original Star Wars or New Hope figures. I prefer to call this movie Star Wars now. And then at the end you have Return of the Jedi, which is quite a bit of a big filling filler for figures. And then at the end there you got Vader and Luke in their duel. In the back there you can see Luke constructing his lightsaber. And then down on the next shelf everything's pretty much the same. You got Custom Lego Vader's TIE Fighter, Custom Slave 1, uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan's Clone Wars Starfighters, well Obi-Wan's is more Attack the Clones, uh, Anakin's Revenge of the Sith Starfighter, and Emperor Palpatine's Shuttle. And at the bottom you've mainly got uh, Clone Wars figures here. Uh, when clone troopers really, so it's, ma it's mainly clones and clone walls. So you see, you've got a mixture. It's got a uh, Revenge of the Sith Fibro First Legion trooper there, as well as Attack of the Clones armor, Commander Gree, along with many other clones and clone walls characters, including the 2003 animated series, hence the Obi Wan and clone armor. Then at the end here, we've got figures from Star Wars Rebels. That's quite a bit of a builder for collection at the minute. It's because they've got our ability, I'm under the belief there's new ones coming out as well. It's to sort of tie in with the Force Awakens ones, one including an Ahsoka and Vader 2 pack, which I might try and get and replace the Vader. That's there, because this cabinet will be moving into the room that I'll be sleeping in whenever I come back here. And not when I'm in halls. And then if we get up, so at the back here we have my tie interceptor, that's all the same with Obi Wan and Maul dueling, Grievous falling over there. And then also, we have my Rebel Snap Together TIE Fighter on top of my CD's case. And next to the Slave Layer cardboard cutout, I gave you a view of after my London vlog. And on the side there, the Arnold Schwarzenegger first Terminator movie poster, thing on planet there, hanging my student halls. I've got that in a frame. As well as one for the second movie, but we'll move on to that in a bit. Okay, so here we move to the top of the other shelving units. We've got the, the plush toy R2D2 and the Mighty Mugs are still there where they were before. And instead of the Battle of the Hoth, because I had to move all that, I've just got a few Hoth Troopers and General Veers there on here with an ATAT driver and Snow Troopers. Then we have Master Chief from the Halo games. I uh, got into that about a year ago now and I've enjoyed playing it and of course I've got my Xbox One 
you can see a reflection of in there. And the Macquarie Darth Vader, and then down here you've got Empire Strikes Back, Phantom Menace, and Expanded Universe figures, including the Mara Jade, Starkiller, and Darth Malgus. And then you've got the Phantom Menace there. Uh, Empire Strikes Back is probably my biggest amount in the collection. Uh, my favourite movie of the entire franchise so far. And it probably will remain that after Force Awakens comes out. And then further down, you've got the Attack of the Clones arena battle. So you've got Windu about it, the Capitate Django. Uh, the C3PO battle droid and all that with the Arclay, which obi fighting. And then you've got others fighting there like Padme and the Nexu and Anakin being dragged by the Reek. And then down here we've got more Lego sets. Uh, I've not been that much of a Lego collector from the, from the past year. I've started going back to Hasbro and focusing more on that and non-Star Wars related material. So we have things like the wheel bike. That was the yeah, that's the most recent set I ever had. Was the wheel bike? I got like the two mini micro micro figures ships like the I got the turbo tank and two star destroyers. Along with the model of the Lego store. Uh, these were poster frame covers, I've got to chuck them out. And of course we've got my, now 10 years old, this is, this thing is. It's my Darth Vader voice changer. It was something I bought when I started getting into Star Wars about 10 years ago now. It's quite a good relief I have this thing in my collection. And that's going to stay here when I'm in uni. So it would be a shame to not have that with us. Okay, now we come back up to where the TV is. We have the... Micropod figures, I can't remember what they were called, but I got a whole load of these because they because uh, there was, there was, there's a home bargains near yeah, where my grand lives in Arbroath in Scotland, and there's one there, and they sell they sold loads of these pod fighters things, and so I just bought loads of them because they weren't too weren't too bad in price and it's home bargains so they were even cheaper. So that's why I have a whole load of these in the collection. And then you have my Darth Vader statue that came with a phrase book, which is concealed behind the stand. But I'm not going to get that out with hand coordination. I need, I need both hands for it, kind of. And behind that, you got the Lego Desert Skiff with the card back from the Celebration Europe, which I've still kept hold on to despite the fact it was eight years ago now. And then we got some 12 inch figures here, including the Storm, Rebel Stormtrooper. Darth Vader and Anakin. We have Yoda, custom Lego Django that's made with silver mark, silver marker and stuff like that, and a Tantive IV, just custom made. Uh, not of course one hundred percent accurate, but t attempts to uh, try and make a small one for stands. You have Jabba's palace on the back there. Just take the optic now for a better view. As you can see, I put C three PO in there because it makes sense. And of course, I got the Rancor pit underneath with Luke fighting him. As he tries, as he attempts to eat, um, I believe he was called Jubnook, but I think that's now just EU material. He doesn't actually have a name anymore. But we could just make our own cannon. So if I was on my own cannon, he would still be called Jub Jubnook, regardless. And then underneath we have a shelf with the Titanic model on. And as you can see, it's been a bit changed around here. I've got my some of my old video game device, handheld video games. I've got my that was my old Game Boy Advance, and that's my Nintendo DS below. And that was my brother's Game Boy Advance, that doesn't work anymore. And then as you see, I've got the... Sorry, I've got my cables dangling there. I've got the Titanic model, along with the uh, Terminator uh, retro-style action figures. Uh, still hunting for that T-800 from T2 at the minute. And there's new T-1000 variants out as well, so... They should be an add to the collection, so... I feel a bit weird getting more another T-800, seeing as I already have three of them. The PlayStation one... The endoskeleton, this is the chrome edition, the endoskeleton, there is the non-chrome edition, and the nightclub, grey coat, scene, Terminator. And that we have my Xbox games, which include Batman Arkham Knight, GTA V, Halo Master Chief, uh, Wolfenstein New Order, and Minecraft. And at the bottom there, there's Halo Reach for the 360, because uh, I'm waiting for that on backward compatibility. Something I also hope that gets to be part of, because it's one of my favourite games I've ever I've ever played. 
I never actually played the Xbox version, I only ever played the Wii version. And down there you got my DVDs. Uh, bit of a range I've got on there. Um, yeah, I've got the Star Wars ones, including my one that I've got signed by David Prowse on there. I was glad to met, meet this guy at the Newcastle Comic Con, so that was a relief. And then on there you got assorted mini Lego sets that I've had over time, including the... That's a custom-built version of the Star Destroyer that comes to scale with the uh, Lego Executor Ultimate Collector series set. I just thought I'd build a couple of these as well. You have other things on here like Django Slave 1, Obi-Wan Starfighter, Republic Frigates and Y-Wings and all that. And down here is just a series of books including and also some Star Wars Pop Trumps. Uh, I've got the original ones in there somewhere as well. Yeah, here they are. That, that's the originals, so... I also have the book, Novel of Revenge of the Sith, and Luke Skywalker and the Shadows of Mindor, and the regular Top Trump Star Wars book. If have come down here, we've got my Art of Star Wars A New Hope. I got that from Forbidden Planet a couple of years ago. It also included the script for the actual Star Wars film. And then along here you got Star Wars Year by Year. Going from when George, really George Lucas's birth till some point in 2010. The Ultimate Visual Guide, this is the 2012 edition. So there's no Force Awakens information on there. And this is all that was all E expanded universe material as well, as well as movie material. So really apart from the Clone Wars and the movies in there, everything else is not canon. And that's the 2009 edition of the Visual Dictionary, the Lego. So that was all that was quite fun to have, good to have. To find all all the sets, and then just below that is all the Star Wars annuals that I've got over the years. I haven't got any lately though, because I just haven't been bothered. And just like the other one, I also have the cinematic release poster for Terminator Two, Judgment Day. That's seen down there. Uh, that's also going to go in my halls room, as well as that one there, which is going to be. The original Star Wars poster. It's got one of the great artwork ones, so that'd be fun to have in the room. Alright, so we come down here now and we have the Blu ray movie collection. Uh, this is quite a growing collection because uh, my local HMV does a deal where you can get three of them for £20 or five for 30 which isn't too bad. Uh, I've managed to buy good movies as well, like Robocop, a damn fine film, I love that. Uh, Jurassic Park, again, good film. The entire Dark Knight trilogy I was able to get, all three of them, for £20, so it's not that's a decent deal on Blu-ray. And first Bueller's Day Off I still have to see, which is also going to be a great one when I watch that. As well as Top Gun, which I always enjoy when I watch that. So again, I could get some pretty good movies and some pretty not so good movies. So that that was that was quite it was an attempt. I mean you had like of course you had Liam Neeson who played Qui Gon and Ewan McGregor who played Obi Wan made a cameo in that. And so now if you come to here we have the uh, R2Q5 and R2G2 salt shakers. They're a saving for my uni halls. I should hope we get to use them. And this is the comic book collection. So we have comics from Star Wars itself. And I can see I've got I'm like Big Bang Theory characters, I've got them all in plastic covering. And I have issues of Princess Leia. As you see there, so that's the Avengers of Hair, and there's one of the female rebel pilots. Yeah, that she is, Avon Villain, I believe her name is. And I also got Darth Vader. Uh, this is quite, this is quite a good comic series because you see the fact that uh, General Cassio Targ, who was originally killed in the Death Star battle, now been revealed as someone who left the Death Star, so now he's a survivor. Now on the bottom, we just have. Uh, other, other random comic books, like I've just got one off, like that's one issue of Star Wars Republic, that was a Battle of Jabeen of Dark Horse Comics, now non canon. Um, that was a Doctor Who free comic book day deal. Uh, Marvel previews, um, Secret Wars. Um, uh, I'm not really that much of a Marvel fan, I like Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, the Spider Man trilogy. Not the Amazing Spider-Man, the, the Tobey Maguire version 
along with Scooby-Doo team up that was free comic book day and then at the bottom we have the signed photographs which are going to be used from, from the comic Con. I'll just take them out now so we have, just so you remember that's John Rattenberger who played Major Dale in and um, Cliff Clavin out of Cheers uh, Jeremy Bullock who played Boba Fett pretty obvious there uh, Michael Pat Pennington who played Moff Jarjarod who's that guy uh, Claudia Wells, who's done it throughout the first Back to the Future. Arnold Schwarzenegger, I bought this one online. So that's quite a good one, deal to have. So you, got, you also get like a little print there. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. I just found that. And Kenneth Colley, who played Admiral Piet. Who's one of my favourite characters out of the original trilogy. Let's come back here, we just have a few other things that I've forgotten to point out. First off, we have down here the... Uh, Funko Pop Collection. I have a few figures from that. We have Darth Vader, Bosk, uh, Peasant Bell from Beauty and the Beast, one of my favourite Disney films, uh, Princess Leia, Robocop, and Boba Fett, along with the Vader clock that I have there. Uh, this was my Revel Snap Together Imperial Shuttle, something I got for my birthday when I turned 11. So that's about eight years ago now. Uh, unfortunately, because I've had it over the years, I've actually only just found this because the front of it had, been, had come off. I tried to find the bit that repaired it, so I had to super glue it back together. And then part of the wing unfortunately broke as part of it, but I'm glad to have found it and put it back together after a while. I also have this little clever thing, it's my lightsaber bottle opener. And what's cool about it is it makes a sound whenever, you, whenever the bit here touches metal. Um, there you go. So it does that whenever I open a bottle of beer or something, it'll make the noise. And there we go. So it's, it's quite a little handy thing that I'll have. And then you have just here we have Commander Pop, Commander Neo, sorry. On his speeder bike. I wouldn't put that on the shelf, but uh, it's not big enough. It'll, it'll take up there's not enough room for it, so I just have him here on my desk. Uh, unfortunately that's the only bark speeder I have and I didn't have a Stas Ali, that would be have the right articulation to fit onto it. I just have the Legacy Collection released one, which is on the shelf uh, over there. So that's what I have. So yeah, this is the like I said, this is the last video I'm filming in this room. So I'll just give a full view uh, now of the car of the carded collection. Uh, not much has changed there. It's all pretty much the same as it was last time. I haven't collected any. I've decided to keep carded. The one I found unfortunate to have not got signed because I found that one in my local store a few, about last year and uh, apparently it was a really rare one and I really wish I would have been able to meet Christopher Lee and sign and get him to sign it but seeing as I'm not, I'm never going to be able to now because he's dead unfortunately, may rest in peace uh, and I just have that on the wall sorry to shake the camera there and I just have that on the wall as it is and again some of these are just the same as they were before So, yeah. Alright, so here's a full pan down again just before the review finishes. So that's the pool, that was the pool table which has the stuff on. That's just a temporary measure because I'm probably just going to fold that away when I leave. So this is the this is the last video that's being filmed in here. And I shall start reviewing again soon enough once I've moved and settled into my student halls. I will be buying Force Awakens figures when I'm in there, so there will be reviews to catch up on, so look out for them. And I will also have other movies to be reviewing ahead of this, so I'll also have the original Terminator movies, uh, the first three anyway, uh, I think I mentioned this in my previous review, the first three Terminator movies will be coming up as a review, and so will the Back to the Future trilogy. And then on top of that I probably will review many other newer movies that come out over time so you may even see a review of The Force Awakens once it's out I'm so I'm really hyped for that, I'm also hyped for I forgot to mention that when I was showing my Xbox games, is that I'm hyped for Battlefront as well when that comes out I'm going to hopefully pre-order it so I can get Battle of Jakku early access, I don't want to pay, have to pay for it because it will set the point for Star Wars 7 so yeah, all that, most of that DVD collection is going to come with me on top of that Blu-ray collection and then select Star Wars figures that I haven't reviewed 
and uploaded will also be brought to along with new ones I'll buy when I'm out there uh, the Terminator figures that are on there they'll be coming so look out for seeing them in my new student halls so yeah so I will see you next time whenever that will be